Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't seen this little home office makeover yet, I'm gonna have it all linked in the description box below. But yes, welcome to the new digs. But today I am doing something that's highly requested and it is how to style Doc Martens continued. I did a part one of this earlier in the winter time and this is part two. This is the new pair. I still have the black pair, but I felt like since I wore them so much, I could definitely invest in a new one. And this is my Doc Martin Jaden boots in white. And so I'm gonna be styling these five, kind of six different ways. And if you guys want to see how to style Doc Martens in general, please keep on watching. But I'm gonna start with the outfit that I'm wearing just cause it's so, so simple and something you can see me in Doc Martens all the time. And it's basically just this white turtleneck, a darker denim, and then these Jaden boots. You can wear this easily with the black pair too. I love this, I think it looks amazing. And with the gold hoops, you just feel extra, extra cute. You know what I mean? And then the next outfit I have here is with a dress. This is definitely for those who live in warmer climates right now. So if you're in Australia, um, South America, so on and so forth, and it's a little bit warmer, this is definitely something you can get away with. I love the midi length on this with Doc Martens, especially because the Jadens have a bit of a platform and they just add that extra height. I feel like this is a very like current Instagram vibe right now. And I love the floral on it. Honestly, I was nervous about this clashing, but it didn't. And I topped it all off with some cat eye sunglasses and thought that this was fun, a little bit different than my usual style and just such an easy look to throw together. And then I also have this outfit. Guys, this is a total 180 from the last outfit I just showed you. Every time I wear my leather leggings on here, they're such a hit. These are the Daria Aritzia Wilfred Free, you know, those classic leggings. Every Toronto girl has a pair, I am sure. But I heard that Spanx also has a really good liquid pair of leggings, like this leathery look. So I'm gonna link both in the description box, but I wore these with the Doc Martin Jadens. Because they're white, I didn't want to cut off my foot too much. I feel like going with an all black type of vibe is like, very much how you can, is how you can make yourself look a lot taller. And then I also wore it with this graphic tee I picked up from the thrift store. And then just a little mini bucket bag I have from Zara. Again, such an easy look. If you guys are in winter right now, like me, you can definitely throw on this coat, a beanie. And I like that the coat's a little tailored because everything else in this look is very punky. So it's a really nice contrast. So I want to show you guys an example of how I wear skirts in the winter. And it is always with a pair of tights if I'm wearing it day to day. I got these tights from the Gap a while ago during their Black Friday sale. And I'm wearing this denim skirt, which is pretty much an all season piece for me because you go with tights and it looks super cute. You wear it in the summer with a little tank top. Again, very, very cool. And I decided to wear this with a cutout turtleneck as well as this big oversized teddy coat. I actually got a large in this coat because I wanted it to have that big oversized vibe. And I decided to stick with darker tones because the denim skirt, it just kind of blocks you in the widest part of your body here. So I want everything else to look long and tall. And then the white again cuts you off. So one of the tips I have here is to dress in darker colors when wearing a white shoe. Um, if you are nervous that it's going to make you look extra short or um, cut you off in a, in a like a less flattering place, I guess. Um, I love wearing this oversized coat. I just think this looks really, really cool. I love coats like this because even if you're not wearing like the cutest outfit under, you throw a coat on like that, have the boots, and it's an outfit all on its own. And then the next outfit I have here is with a pair of flared pants. So you guys know my love of Jamie jeans. These are the 32 length and they are so good with a pair of Doc Martin Jaden boots. If you're around 5'4", 5 5'5", 5 5, I love this look. I want to give you guys a different idea on how to wear these. You don't necessarily have to tuck them in all the time. And that's the beauty of the Doc Martin Jane boot. They're so versatile. I love them with a pair of flares. They just make your leg look super long and you just are gonna look really, really cool. I think it's such a vibe. Like Doc Martens with a pair of flare pants. I've been wearing it all fall and now into the winter time. And I definitely had to give you guys this example. I also paired it with some classic pieces. So this Christian Dior belt that I bought on the vintage market. And then also the button up shirt is actually my boyfriend. This outfit here is with one of my latest finds from Shein. It is this leopard coat. Um, I decided to wear all black under just because I find this very like model off duty and easy. I also wore it with this, again, a used vintage designer bag. I love designer bags um, that are vintage because they're super affordable and 
they're a little bit more unique. And then I put on this leopard coat because I love the way leopard looks with white boots and just the Doc Martens boots in general. You can easily swap this out for the black and it will look really sick. The black under and just adding those extra pops of like pattern and print. It definitely helps tie the story of your outfit together, I feel like. And it makes the pieces that you want to stand out stand out. So guys, that is the end of my latest styling video. If you guys like this, let me know what you guys want me to style next. And again, I'll have all the information in the description box below. As always, I got you. I'm always trying to style new looks for Instagram as well. And I really want to just produce more content there. I've been doing a few giveaways there and that's been really fun. So if you guys want to participate in those, that's where I am. And without further ado guys, I'm gonna go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.